side a little bit and change his turn direction. So now his, his right side kind of gets more depth in as he turns rather than his turn working in a vertical sense. So now the, the spine and the body levels have, have changed. So as Lindsay comes into the shot now, he can move forward better. His body won't have to lean or go under as much, so he can start striking with a stronger left arm position, as you can see here, which is very different compared to the old one. And then his pivot or his turn and his right side starts to work around his left side much better, rather than kind of hanging under here and the arms continue to be very, um, very bent. Okay, as so we look at Lindsay's back angle here, the old one on the left, the real, one of the key parts for us that we worked on the way down is trying to lose the vertical motion which goes with the, the body motion from the front. So as, as Lindsay comes down here, we can see the handle pulling down too vertically, make, steepening the shaft of the golf club on the way down. And it kind of gets Lindsay inside, but it, it's too steep rather than being shallow with the shaft. So this really makes the, the pitch of the circle is swinging on too vertical and Lindsay would end up hitting pushes and uh, and blocks really so we can see the body straightening at impact and the club exiting very very high this way so his new one with the better body motion when the club comes down we'll see a big difference in what the club's doing so we see the shaft a lot more horizontal here and not as vertical so this is a shallower swing plane the club's traveling more in front of him and the exit's going to be different so the exit doesn't isn't quite as high and um, his wrists are a lot more stable so it's certainly big changes, so I want to say congratulations to Lindsay and I'm sure there's going to be some good golf next season.